Imagine walking through a rainforest. You hear birds, see insects, and spot colorful flowers everywhere. But how do scientists actually measure the incredible biodiversity around you? It all comes down to two powerful concepts, species richness and species evenness. And today, you will finally understand what they really mean. Biodiversity is the variety of life on Earth, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale. But counting every living thing, that would be impossible. Instead, scientists use a simpler approach. They focus on two key factors. How many different species are present and how evenly individuals are spread among those species? Species richness is the total number of species in a given area. Think of it like counting how many different kinds of animals, plants or fungi you can find. For example, a coral reef might have dozens of fish species, while a small pond might only have five. The reef has higher richness simply because there are more types of creatures. But richness alone does not tell the whole story. Imagine one species completely dominating while others barely exist. That ecosystem is unbalanced. This is where species evenness comes in. Evenness measures how equally individuals are spread across all species in an ecosystem. If one species has thousands of individuals and others only a handful, evenness is low. If all species have similar numbers, evenness is high. Here is a simple way to picture it. Imagine two forests. Both have ten species each, so richness is the same. But in forest A, one tree species covers almost everything. In forest B, all ten tree species are evenly spread. Which forest feels more diverse to you? Exactly, forest B. That is the power of evenness. Now here is the challenge. How do scientists actually measure these concepts in the field? They start by taking samples from a defined area, like a square meter of forest floor or a small section of coral reef. Every organism within that sample is identified and counted. From there, they calculate richness by simply counting the number of unique species found. This part is straightforward. Evenness requires a bit more math. Scientists use formulas like the Shannon Index or Simpson Index to measure how balanced the population is. Do not worry, you do not need to be a math wizard to get the idea. These formulas help translate raw counts into a single score that shows balance. Here is why this matters. Two ecosystems can have the exact same richness but totally different evenness. And that difference can reveal hidden problems. For instance, imagine a grassland where invasive species have taken over. The number of species might stay the same for a while so richness looks stable. But evenness drops sharply because one invasive plant crowds out the rest. This decline signals an ecosystem under stress, long before species are completely lost. This is why conservationists rely on both richness and evenness to track ecosystem health. They work together like two sides of the same coin. Let us take a real-world example. In Yellowstone National Park, wolves were reintroduced after decades of absence. Before their return, deer populations exploded. This meant certain plant species were being overgrazed, lowering evenness even though richness, the total plant types, stayed the same. When wolves came back, they kept deer numbers in check. Plants had a chance to recover. Evenness rose, showing a healthier, more balanced ecosystem. Pretty amazing, right? Now think about this. Our own actions can tip the balance. Pollution, climate change, deforestation. All can reduce richness and evenness over time. That is why measuring biodiversity is not just for scientists. It is a vital step in protecting the future of our planet. So how can you visualize this at home? Picture two jars of jelly beans. Each color represents a different species. Jar one has 10 colors, but mostly red beans. Jar two has the same 10 colors in equal amounts. Which jar represents higher evenness? You guessed it, jar two. This simple analogy makes the concept instantly clear. 
By tracking changes in these jelly bean jars over time, scientists can spot trouble early and take action before species are lost forever. Understanding richness and evenness also helps set conservation priorities. Areas with high richness might be biodiversity hotspots, but places with both high richness and high evenness, those are truly irreplaceable treasures worth protecting at all costs. So next time you visit a park or watch a nature documentary, look closer. How many different species do you see? Are some overwhelming the rest? These questions are the foundation of modern ecology, and the answers shape how we protect life on Earth. Before we wrap up, here is a quick recap. Richness counts how many species are present. Evenness measures how balanced their populations are. Both are essential for understanding biodiversity and guiding conservation efforts worldwide. If you found this fascinating, give this video a like and share it with a fellow nature lover. It really helps us grow and spread awareness. And for your next adventure, check out our video on Keystone Species, the hidden heroes keeping ecosystems in balance. You will never see nature the same way again.